All right, here we go. Let's take a look at this cabin. And we have, of course, fire pit, picnic table. Ooh, it has a swing. Look at how cute this is. And then another grill. Oh, the water must be turned off. Oh, no, it's not. It works fine. And best of all, look at this view. Okay, let's do a quick cabin tour. All right, they have, all oh, right, right in the front, they have the double, uh, double bed. And then we do have some shelving countertop. I was mistaken, I thought they had a microwave. They do not, uh, but they do have Wi-Fi fan. And then back here, we have the four bunk beds. in preparation for breakfast. Let's check. This is a big country breakfast. Over here we have the bacon, hash browns. Soon to be eggs. Soon to be eggs. And a beautiful view. Today we are doing an exotic meat challenge. I have uh, meat number one, meat number two, and meat number three. And no one will know what they are until they taste them. We have prepared for the meat challenge. Everything's on the fire. We have number one, number two, number three. We are ready for our meat challenge. And we're gonna start with number one. So we're gonna taste it first. And I think this is, let me taste it. And these are all grass-fed animals. Mm. It looks like hamburger. This tastes like... Mm, what did you think, Dad? It's just like hamburger. Okay. There's a little bit of a wild taste here. I'm gonna say it's... Um, Lamb. Okay. That's not exotic. But well, look at it? your list and you'll know what it's from. <clears throat> and Dad said hamburger. Yes, first. And I think it's the bison. Okay. Grandpa says bison. Okay. Now, this meat, I'm going to say, let me taste it, but I'm going to guess. There are a few scales in here. I think this is alligator. Okay, and Dad, what do you think? I think it's the camel. Camel? Okay, let me take a taste. This is number two. Camel, who's killing camels? These are mm. just the humps. This one has a different flavor for sure. Mm. Okay, number three. There you go, Dad. That's one. Take your pick. Okay. It's bison. It's dark. Okay. Is this ground also? Also ground. All ground. Ground. Mm. Here we go. Mm. It's lean. Okay, Mom. You're saying it's lean. Very, very lean. Mm -hmm. 
I think this is ostrich. Okay. As do I. Okay. I think this is ostrich, and I hope that it's ostrich, because I'll, otherwise I'll be wrong. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm basing that on the fact that I've had geese. I've, I've had geese, and they're very dark meat. Okay. Um, and dry. Mm. And this is was dark, and it is fairly dry. Well, are they numbered? No, but I, I am aware of what they are. So the, I did write what each meat is on the card. Okay, number one. Let's go with number one. Mother, you say number one is bison. Bison. Okay, number two. You said bison also? You copied me. Well, this makes me sad, but it must be camel. Camels are so cute. Yeah, I camels are cute. Camel are camels. cute. And number three, ostrich. And Grandpa also says ostrich. We are ready for the reveal. Number one was bison. Everybody guessed correctly. Mm -hmm. Number two, camel. Everybody guessed correctly. And number three was ostrich. Again, everybody guessed correctly. So in conclusion, you can't fool. Us. You can't fool. You can't fool my parents at all with exotic meats. Mm -hmm. They can identify the meat. <laughs> the details, the trail details. Okay, I'm in room number four. Let's take a look. Whoa. This particular artisan well was built in, it was dug in 1949 on this private property, which has now been turned into a spa. And um, the temperature always stays at 108 degrees. And then there is a whole list. When I looked it up, there's a whole list of um, minerals that are in this mineral spring. And so it has a variety of health benefits that I don't know about. And this is only $15 an hour. It's piped directly from the well. There is, there's no additional heating. There's no purification. There's no additives. There's no preservatives. It's just straight out of the ground. 